praise God. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity. It is not by chance, but by choice we are here. And as I speak, Holy Spirit, take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords. Take authority of this Zoom session. I declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon every participant in this Zoom session. And your presence is right here, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So before we begin, um, anybody has any testimonies to share this week? Yes, I do have a testimony to share. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One minute. Yeah, so I was, you know, uh, teaching with, uh, with all my participants. I was having my own session, my own teaching. So I was teaching and uh, I, I got a message from my participant that his wife was suffering through um, from uh, pancreatic cancer. Okay. So I didn't I didn't see the message because I didn't know that time it came because I was teaching that time. So after my teaching, I saw the um, message. Oh, sorry, not after the teaching. Uh, during the teaching itself, I saw when I was going to end. So yeah, I saw and then I I uh, after my after I ended my teaching, I thought of like you know. Uh, um, you know, I thought of calling him him and his wife, and uh, I called him, and then uh, they answered the call, and then I started teaching them about Mark eleven verse twenty four. I better speak okay. to the mountain, and even one Peter two twenty four. That by the precious words of Jesus, um, you are completely here, and you were. It is like you know, it's in the past tense, right, Priya? It yes, comes yes. in the past tense that like you were healed. So I tell I told them that Jesus is will Jesus come and heal you. So they were like, yes. But then I corrected them and I said, even I too made this mistake, even me. I have I have also uh, done this mistake, but uh it is not that Jesus will come and heal you, it's that Jesus has already come, uh, already healed you. You just need to believe that because 2000 years ago he has died on the cross and he took all all his all the sickness, all the diseases, or all our sins uh, on the cross, and he won't come back and die again for you. So you need to believe that you're already healed. So it started. Praise God. I started, praise God, yes. So I started teaching them about this and uh, I, I made an agreement prayer also that, and even I started teaching them about life and death is in the power of your tongue. I'm not sure which scripture, Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18, 21. Yeah, Proverbs 18, 21. Yeah, praise God. Thank you, Priya. Praise God. So I started teaching them about this and uh, I started teaching about these two scriptures. So, and then after that, I, I asked them whether we can come in an agreement into an agreement prayer. And then they were like, yeah, sure. So I made an agreement prayer in Korea and I used the scriptures, this, the same scriptures, Mark 11, 24 and 1 Peter 2, 23. I started okay. saying um, I don't really remember the whole prayer, but I, uh, yeah. So, you spoke what the Holy Spirit guided you to speak at that very moment. Yeah, God. because I said I completely said I didn't know how to do healing prayers. Actually, to be honest, I never knew. So I just surrendered it to the Holy Spirit, and uh, I said, Holy Spirit, you're the one teaching me. You're the one saying this prayer, and I know. And then I, I, I completely surrendered it to the Holy Spirit. I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. And, and uh, yeah, after that, I said the prayer. In, and, I, and I even started, uh, uh, you know, I said uh, the, uh, the 
the scriptures also which i was teaching about mark 11 24 1 peter 2 24 i started saying that in in my prayer also and uh, i even told the, that sister to, that uh, the one who has pancreatic cancer i told her that you know that you have to keep praising and thanking uh, god that thank Praise you god. jesus i am I am healed. I am all that by your precious yes. wounds of Jesus, I am already healed. So I told you to keep praising and thanking God because praise is power. And yes, and it uh, praise is... paralyzes the enemy out of the yeah. mouth of the babes and sucklings. God has ordained praise. Praise God. That's a very wonderful testimony, Ashley, that yeah. how you sowed and, the seed, you know, gospel with then, sharing people. Yeah. Yes. And then after that, I said, after my agreement, I said, how are you feeling right now? She said she's feeling very well and she's feeling better. And the next day after the treatment, little pain was there, but I kept her. I prayed, I prayed for them. And I also started teaching them that don't at all worry. You're already healed. It just Praise don't God. like, you know, yes. uh, Satan yes. is trying to put that thoughts and all of that in your mind yes. but you just need to overcome those by the scriptures and yes. only if you understand the word of god you'll come to know that all these thoughts are not from god these are from the devil so you need yes. to overcome that and then i said i started teaching them about this and yes. I, it was a short teaching and then after that uh she uh she could even walk I asked her the next day, how was she feeling? She could even walk because the day before I started praying for her and um, I asked her, how is she feeling? She said, uh, his, uh, her husband said that uh, he, she's feeling better. She can praise walk God. now. There's no pain at all. So praise, praise God, God. To God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's a nice testimony, Ashley, of reaching out to uh, people in yeah. one step of faith. It's yes. the Holy Spirit. And it was yeah. my first healing prayer. I never did any healing prayers or anything. It was my first healing prayer. Praise God. Okay. Does anyone have any other testimony? Shade, Paul, and Sian? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Sian? Oh, uh, yeah, no. I don't have anything. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have a testimony, but I also thought I'll give it with the teaching. What do you say? Praise God? Yeah? Okay. So let's start with the teaching. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll just share my screen. Uh, should I put it? I have it ready. Um, no problem. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, it's a uh, Bible gateway. Romans 8, 6. Yeah, praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sian, would you like to read? Yep. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Praise God. Okay. So what is the meaning of carnally minded? Sian, would you like to answer? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> Uh, Make it. Carnally, okay. Okay. Yeah. I know what's the meaning of carnally. Carnally means like, you know, physical, that carnally, physically minded, like in you know, that or yes. uh, Praise uh, God. physical sense, like that. Yes. Okay. So, Sian, you remember this teaching when I had uh, given this teaching that man is a spirit who has a soul and he lives in a body? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one third of us is spiritual because we were created in God's image and likeness. Whereas our soul and our body are unrenewed. Because they are unrenewed, they comprise of the flesh. Carnal means flesh. You would have studied right in school or somewhere that to be carnally minded, as in like, uh, sorry, not uh, to be carnally minded, uh, Carnivores, herbivores. Have you heard of these terms while studying? Yes. Yes. Carni. Carnal means those people who eat on flesh. So the word carnal is derived from that. 
so carnal means mm. anything related to the flesh the desires of our flesh our emotions anything and this scripture okay praise god shay would you like to read seven yeah um because the carnal mind is enmity against god for for it is not sub for it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be so this scripture says to be carnally minded is enmity against god now we have a spirit and we have a flesh the flesh and the spirit go in opposite directions correct our spirit and our flesh are not in the same direction what our flesh desires our spirit doesn't want it and what our spirit wants it our flesh doesn't want like i'll go more in that de- on that teaching in one of these coming days in the week praise god okay so carnally minded means when as ashley also said that our focus is on the physical senses on what is happening around okay so i'll give you i'll give you this example a testimony yesterday only okay so what happened was um, i was on duty and uh, you know i completed my 24 hours duty and uh, that t- yesterday we did not ha- you know after the duty i just came back home and for some reason at workplace there was some miscommunication and th- there were some rounds to be happening and i was supposed to be back there so i just reach home and i come to know there are rounds okay and i know that going back to my college would take me time and it okay so i was like somehow i spoke to my colleagues and i told them to manage so what happened after that was uh, because of that misunderstanding they were like you know i would be marked absent which means um, i would have to do two days extra work for that because if i'm marked absent now when i hear such a thing for something i have not really done honestly what thought should come to my mind shane what do you think okay so i didn't understand exactly what you're trying to say so it's okay i'll repeat okay praise god uh, i'll repeat it ashley just a minute can i ask uh, shane this question yeah no problem shane uh could you also repeat it again <laughs> Yeah okay fine fine praise god so I, I was just read, I was just reading the the other verses after that there were okay were okay praise god Sorry. I'll repeat it okay so um I was supposed to stay back after my duty for some time but uh because there was some miscommunication I came back and then I realized that I had to go back again which was not possible and because of that misunderstanding i would be marked absent in my attendance so the problem with that is i would have to do uh, two days extra work for something you know which was not really my fault because of a miscommunication so it was a, a a hard time or a testing time for me so at that point what do you think would be my emotions what thoughts would be running in my head praise god well uh, you might be you start to feel worried and uh, yes. start you will start to look things you know carnally <laughs> yes yes exactly i would get irritated yeah 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 Worried. you would yeah okay yeah. what's going to happen next how is things going to turn out right so yes, the yeah. first word that came out of my mouth was praise god okay the first word yeah. that came out of my mouth was praise god and then i was like jesus you know that you know it was not my intention to miss out on this but because of some misunderstanding it happened you know everything so lord i'm going to praise and thank you because you have taken care of it because your word says cast all your cares unto me for i care for you okay and then i started praising and thanking god and for 10 minutes i prayed in tongues and then i went back to watching my jc ilm retreat okay and within 15 minutes i get a message saying that today's situation was managed and they did not mark as absent praise god praise god amazing okay yeah, nice, so nice. what okay. i'm trying to say is when a neg- when a negative situation comes our first reaction decides the outcome isn't it true 
praise yes. god thank yes. you jesus so whenever it's so whenever it is um you are in a negative situation always remember that use your faith okay use your faith exercise your faith use the word of god that you are studying take authority over your problems in jesus' name and he is always going to show up for you because the word of god is living and active praise god does anyone want to ask questions here like anything you want me to explain again hello ashley praise god thank you jesus hello can you hear me yeah we can hear you yes sister we can hear you okay praise god uh, so does anyone want to add something here to this uh, teaching what i just spoke about it's like testimony sister today i joined late sorry <laughs> no no problem uh, it was a testimony day so um, uh, i was teaching like i was sharing a testimony along with the scripture Yeah, I heard your yeah. I heard your that uh, as you started I joined so I heard you were uh, narrating about your incident but yes. I don't know if you had you if you were doing some like you know because I saw one scripture there also That's yes why. yes because actually I faced so I was sharing that yeah I also yes, faced sister. a similar you... thing long back when I was working in a place and uh, the, for no reason I was fired okay because of some misunderstanding like that only and uh, the thing is like i tried to speak to the boss and explain but somehow i don't know since i was absent and when this thing happened they already it's like uh, i think there was some politics involved and it was already made up kind of you know so before i could be in that place and explain myself they already uh, made that move like it's already like i'm out of that place so i didn't want to argue or debate like same like you i just put it on god i said i praise you lord whatever is good i know you have the best only for me and uh, that same time like uh, my child was small you know so i was not actually not very happy with that job because of the timings but since something i had to start with i was going for this place so it was not very long that i had joined it was hardly i think two months like that so i was not very comfortable you know because of this certain person that hr person only actually i was not very comfortable and when this thing happened i was a little sad but not uh, fully disturbed because i said anyway i was not having my full heart in it because of many other factors like the timings and many things i was i said okay i will leave it because i know you have something good for me and you will not believe i was uh, uh, i was without a job for some months after that because you don't get immediately you know and then i wanted also some yes, time praise again. god praise god i wanted also because i was like too stressed that time because when i started this my son had actually not uh, totally got used to that babysitting and all you know so i was having like sleepless nights and this stress at work everything was uh, too much for me so i said no no i'll take a break again because i have not actually got settled completely like so i said i'll take my own time to look for a job and you not believe i had still not started looking because i don't know now exactly what's the direction i'm waiting like you know so suddenly one day a thing comes up this is from some old person you know where I, where earlier where i was working uh, there was uh, sometimes some place i used to order food and that waiter that boy the delivery guy used to come i used to just give him some tips so somehow he had a good bonding with me and uh, many times he used to call after i had left my job and when my son was born he was always calling and asking to like you're looking for a job are you this because that was a uh, industrial area so this person is going delivering food in many companies so he knows you know like if there is vacancy and all that so he used yes. to tell me sometimes there is some opening here there is some vacancy here are you interested are you looking for a job so nearly 2 years i was not working so i was i used to say no till now i have not started so like that i was like you know always my answer was not showing him that interest that i want to join so after this episode when i lost the job and i was again at home and i actually needed also like to join back because of some other issues so 
then i told him like now i'm i have actually started but i lost it you know i i was not ashamed because i didn't i was not at a fault this was some other politics and they you know used it against me so i told him this is what happened but i am looking for a thing if there is something you let me know you will not believe like it was so supernatural whatever happened like this person i just happened to Praise send him god my CV. yeah i just happened to send him my cv saying if you if there is anything so this person i think like that only randomly no he just <laughs> whomever he is in very close uh, whatever with he gave and uh, like this it reached one lady and she is very influential kind of where she is working so the same time some um, you know this uh, recruitment uh, companies are there you know so this recruitment company i think that head or someone was in that company at that point when this person gave to this lady so immediately she just uh, showed my cv you know saying she doesn't know me huh? even i don't know this lady this person has given my cv a third person has given her and immediately that person called up you know now i don't know anything neither has this guy told me like it's gone here or gone here or i have no no idea so when they call i'm like who is this calling then this real uh, this recruitment person is telling me that i need to edit some changes in your cv because uh, because you were not working no for long time like nearly two years so we will not put it that way you can put some more things when you are busy with so it will look like you were still occupied with something like you know so you'll have better chances of job and uh, that same time he said there was some vacancy you know and where i could have chance of getting so i'll give it to that company and i was i i don't know now what to say because nothing i have done you know it's supernatural favor from above and uh, praise you, god uh, praise god that uh, it was not immediate it took some time there were few rounds i had to go but so so beautifully god bless me with this job and which had the very good timings which was main what i was looking for when i was praying i was always putting forward this thing saying i don't know how i can get a job like this lord but i want something where i can have a balance you know with my family and uh, work i don't want to work like oh, till 7 or very late so that uh, my child is not like you know neglected and this was uh, job which was i was really stunned that i got this because it was having only timings like half day you know and i used to finish by 233 and i had plenty of time to come spend with my son and then i was like yes god yes god i could rest and also do my all my other household chores so i this is something more than what i asked for you know that's why i like that efficiency 320 yes. because is yes. what ask for imagine more than that accidentally abundantly because this is in many aspects he has blessed me with not it's like total that. favor of god sister yeah. i'm so and happy then, yeah and th- those days i'm not in word okay i'm not so much in word so i don't know all these things like there is favor there is all these things but see a uh, uh, merciful god he was he knows the heart and so he is always blessing us you know always blessing us even the times when we have not been faithful we have not known him or known his power you know those days i don't know i'm i'm praying but in some other way not with the word and all that but uh, slowly I, he knows no i'm going to get there <laughs> he is already Praise working god he's already having that free dest time amazing <laughs> yes so i wanted to i just remembered when you were saying and how you just faced him even though the situation was so bad even for me you know sometimes when we have not done anything and somebody points it's very difficult because uh, at that time we just have to forgive we have to just forgive yes. person and sister mm-hmm. the, you know what um, like i was teaching on authority right that mark 11 23 okay. and when okay. this situation came right where i was not that i wasn't getting thoughts of irritation i was getting thoughts of irritation but mm-hmm. you know what the holy spirit told me he told mm-hmm. me preacher you're teaching mm-hmm. other people about authority <laughs> now you're on the hot seat now it's mm-hmm. time for you to practice what you preach i was like thank you holy spirit for yes. coming and my rescue praise god <laughs> for me also same thing i was not so much in word but still i could hear that inner voice saying see that the person was not also of our faith you know so many times when i have had issues like this always i don't know somehow jesus is to show me saying see you know you know this no but they are not having that like yes. because i think we have learned by his sacrifice that how jesus did this that much at least we know even if we were not in word i always admire how jesus could go 
without any fault without any sin it's like too much you know sometimes to praise god just, praise sister god. and i just realized another revelation that i got in yesterday's situation was that in that moment of pressure when mm. the pressure is high and the negative emotions are at the peak how much mm-hmm. can i be conscious of jesus's love at that Correct. moment Correct. and that was keeping me joyful yeah i wasn't praising for the sake of praising mm. i was praising from yeah, my yeah, heart yeah. because i was Correct. at that point i was just imagining what jesus has done for me and Correct. when you focus on him that mm-hmm. is the time you start you're filled with joy so much mm-hmm. of love nothing mm-hmm. around you matters sister praise Correct. god correct praise god how great yes yes okay thank you jesus so you, jesus. so this is what you know we were talking about being carnally minded now even though we know the word one moment we can be spiritually minded and the other moment you can be carnally minded now i can be coming and giving you know teachings talks on these things on faith on authority on different topics but when my situation is negative when the pressure is high on me am i being carnally minded or am i being spiritually minded that is the question that we need to ask ourselves yes because here we are studying the word that is the logos but the when we apply that logos practically in our life only then we can see supernatural things if you are just coming for the zoom sessions and feeling nice after the class but you are not applying what you learn in the class then you cannot see the glory of god because god has given us the choice right praise god praise god thank you jesus yeah so for be to be carnally minded is death now death means you imagine a person in a coffin correct that is what comes to the mind when we think of death yes praise god but what is death spiritual death is every time you know when we are getting worried every time we are getting anxious every time we are focusing on anything other than god it is death in it is slow death nowadays if you see why depression is so high you know young population what is depression it's nothing but slow mind slow death praise god thank you jesus so even though i am a believer even though i have gotten born again and i have the holy spirit by my side which jesus has given me i can still be carnally minded praise god thank you jesus does anyone want to add something here chen you have any questions um i think i think uh, one thing i learned is you know your first reaction to a problem or to you know to to anything that comes up against you should be spiritual yeah. and you must always and you must always you know i think that's one thing i i sometimes encounter at work or you know at you know at uni or whatever um even at home sometimes so i think you know taking you know jesus's name and you know saying thank you jesus and saying some scriptures something can re- it, it definitely will help so i think that's uh, something i learned today praise god thank you holy spirit the holy spirit is the best teacher because i never come uh, prepared for the class i'm like holy spirit i don't know what to teach but you are there you will remind me what i have studied long back praise god yes 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 because i think uh, the walking in the spirit is a very good topic you know like today i got with this testimony i also got a topic to teach which shall be continuing for this coming week on how to walk in the spirit and the difference between being carnally minded and spiritually minded praise god so today was just an introduction does anyone else want to add something sian um no <laughs> everything's fine praise god thank you jesus okay so if there's nothing more to add then we can continue on this session in the next class on the same topic praise god so 
Shay, would you like to make the closing prayer today? Uh, yeah, all right, I'll make it. Um, uh, thank you, Jesus, that, um, sorry, uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, no, I just I'll just say something. Um, thank you, Jesus, that uh for being with us, and uh, thank you for for guiding us, you know, through every moment. And we 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 thank you for you know giving us opportunities and people that we face to to try our best to you know to show your love uh to others and to and to you know think spiritually so we ask you to keep on helping us uh, with the holy spirit and uh, we thank you for everything you have done in our life uh, amen amen praise god amen. lovely prayer Shane. thank you we have that's all right praise god thank you all for joining in for this